Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install the primary and secondary chains from the wheat eater 261. As you see, a lot of people they just say it's hard that there's no adjust thing to it and that it's very difficult and that you had to get a, a technique to get it repaired but today I'm going to show you for the first time on YouTube how to install this chain okay as you see I'm going to show you in a few seconds the way it's going to be done so I'm going to show you right now as you see is a wheat eater well, I lift it up with the jack and then I put two jack stands to keep it high uh, for you to be able to uh, work real comfortable. And the first thing you'll need, you're going to have to need uh, use a 13 millimeter socket and you're also going to use a 11 millimeter socket. And I had this uh, impact wrench uh, tool for it make it easier. So we're gonna start right now by removing this cap right here. It's a rubber cap. And uh, as you see, I forgot you also need a flat screwdriver because we have to remove this C clamp right here. With the C-clamp right here to remove the tire. You also need uh, this is the same procedure to change the tire so it's nothing new and it's very easy to remove. That's it. And you remove this uh, washer right here and you just pull the tire out just like this. It comes out just like you see it and you leave it right here. And you put it aside and you take this other washer right here. It also have here this key to make the wheel go you know and turn turn like it's supposed to turn you put it right here the next thing you're going to remove is the level for where you put the gears the gear levels you're going to remove it and you're going to need like i told you the 13 millimeters like i said i just got to uh use this because it's Easier for me. You take it out like that. It doesn't matter if it falls apart. You just pick it up, no matter what it felt. It felt, uh, you know, it's there. And you remove this other thing right here. And you got it right here. And since this here came out from this uh, gear uh, level, you just put it here in the side. And the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna to remove the gears where the uh, you can see I put this here because it's kind of hard to get it in here okay got it here you just gotta remove this little screw in the middle and take it all the way out and that way you will remove this gear uh, plate and you keep whatever tools there next to it and it's easy there's nothing to it okay nothing to it the next thing you're gonna do you're going to remove this here as you see this is the uh, bearing this uh, this bracket right here is what they say that you remove these two little screws from here and you drill another hole here and that way you move this to the side to the hole and put the screw in there and then that's the way you adjust the chain but then you gotta mess up your equipment. The best thing is having like the factory. Don't don't do nothing extra. I show you the right way to do it, and it's easy, very easy. Okay. So we're gonna to remove this screw right here. Before we remove that one, we're gonna remove this one. But this one is a. Uh, I believe this is a 14, so we're gonna have to use 
of 14, so it doesn't matter. I didn't tell you about this one here. And uh, we have to do the, the same thing here. We're gonna, it, you remove it like you saw it right there, and that's a uh, 14 millimeter. And you're gonna get that 13 back again, and you're gonna remove this here. And you're gonna remove the bearing right here because this is the chap right here, the one that they do a hole here and they just switch it here and stretch that chap that way. But then what happened when it, you don't have no more room to do it? You ruin it. That's it. Doing a lot of holes that's not supposed to be done. So what I do, I just put this away here, make sure it doesn't that I doesn't lose it. Everything goes together. Just put it aside here. Okay. And the next thing you're going to remove is this two screws right here that holds the chap right here, the chap right here. That's it. It's loose, see? Completely loose. Put the screws right here in the side. You know that belongs to it. Right here. And then you're going to remove this here. This other screws right here, as you see. That's one, that's two, but I forgot something. Okay, you gotta remove this one here, and you gotta remove this one here too. Just, you gotta remove this top right here, so it doesn't matter. If it doesn't move it right now, you can move it anytime because I gotta remove it for you to be able to see from back here the chains and the gears that a lot of people see but they're afraid to how to put the chain and so and so. I removed the back cover and now you can see what a lot of people see in there that they are so afraid because they don't know what to do next because it's hard to put your hands in here. But this also has this other plate right here that goes here is on the bottom and you just remove it. They're going to have only four screws. That's it. Four screws. And then it's got this other one right here that goes attached to here, this side. And you remove it. That way you'll be able to see everything. But still, still, no way to reach in here. There's no way for you to reach in here. And you, so you, you're afraid. You say, oh, now I'm going to do next. Man, I'm screwed. But that's not the right word. Okay, when they mount this unit, they had to do it part by part. So there's a diagram and a manual that show you the name of the parts and everything. I'm gonna show you later what it is. But today we are focused how to just change this to main change from the transaxles right here. And that's it. If you see this part right here, that's where the brake is. That's the brake this, and this is the brake right here. Okay, transaxles right here, and uh, this is the friction disc. Sometimes you have to remove the friction disc right here because it's all messed up, as you see. So this is what uh, makes the clutch, you know, to uh, be able to uh, switch your gears or whatever, so and so, and move. So right now, I'm gonna show you uh, the next steps I'm gonna be doing. So now we just gonna keep on removing the screw right here because I just wanna make sure that you, you can see how easy it is. And you see the screw right here, nothing to it. And what, what it does is, if you see, this is the chaff right here and, and the gears right here too also. And this is right here, uh, the gear, the chip gear right here. And as you see, there's nothing to it, see? You just remove the chain right here. Voila, that's it. You take the chain just like this. As you see, it's stretched. It's nothing to it. You saw that? Nothing to it. It's so easy. You just take it out like that. And that's it. That's it. And you have to change it. If you see, here's the chest right here. See? That's the chest. So, well, what you do, you just take it and put it apart. That's it. Just leave it there. You don't need it anymore. Or what do you do? Instead of doing what they say about doing the hole like I told you later, just get a new one. Only cost $10. And you could do this. It's so easy. 
If you got any experience as a mechanic, if you could change a tire from a bicycle, you could do it. They don't want to show you because they want you to spend money. They think that they know everything. And then when you try to look something, they don't want to show you how to do it. Okay? And today I'm showing you how to do it. So this is one of the gears right here. I want the, a chain right here. And this is the main one right here. This is the one that holds the brake. As you see, let me put this on the side. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the side. And I'm just going to, uh, I just, I just going to tie it here. Huh? And I'm gonna put it right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this little rope. You can use a tie wrap, whatever you want. And I'm gonna tie it right here because I don't want that on my way. So there's nothing to it. You don't have nothing loose there, see? I just tie it there, that's it. No problem with it, see, that's it. And this is the main check right here. This is the other one that you have to change. As you see, you see, it's stretched. So what you have to do, get a new one. It's so easy to change, look. You just pull it out like this. You just take it, see, as you see, it moves real easy, nice and smooth. So you just gotta do, just pull it out. Let me show you. Uh, this is on the way. Just stay there, okay? Just take it and just remove it. It's really, it's really nothing to it. All you gotta do is just, once you got it out, and you have this here tie up there, but you got it out, see? Right now, everything's coming out. See? Nothing to it, see? Because this move. See so this move and you just remove it from here. That's the second one right there. And the same way you do it right here, this is this is the this is the hard one, supposed to be the hard one. Because you work here with the this is the disc for the brake, this is the brake system right here, this is the caliper right here, you see? This is the the brakes right here. Brace uh and this is the brake disc right here, you see? See it's moving, then when you apply the, the, the brakes, it stops from moving. That's the disc right here. And this here, you can remove it like that, see? You remove the chest. There's no problem to it. There's no, 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 no nothing to it. This is the, the bad part of it. Because the other side, you're gonna remove the chain. What you're gonna do is remove that uh, wheel and the so and so, and, and you don't have to work with this side here because you only have to remove the chain. Over here, you got this gear right here, it's the main gear, the one that really move if your if your transaxle get to neutral you have to check for this change because either it, it got out or something went wrong with this gear that's it so i hope you like my video so far and uh just uh give like if you like it uh when i get my parts back uh i'm gonna show you how to install it and uh so far you know i show you how to get it out now I had to order the parts, and once they come in, I had to do the second part of this video, how to install it. I hope you like it, and just give like, and uh, if, if, if everything goes okay, I'll do some more videos. Okay, this is uh, Clown56 saying, uh, till next time.